Good morning, Mr. Sindhi. Thank you for joining us all the way here in Hyderabad, and congratulations on winning this award from the uh, Indian Reading Olympiad. Thank you for having me over. It's God's will that we are together today, and we let's be obedient to Goddess Saraswati, whom we all treasure and value. Thank you for having me over. Uh, so you represent the English Book Depot, which has won the Best Library Award, and this year the English Book Depot turns a hundred years young. How does it feel being the caretaker of such a you know, proud legacy? Yeah, actually more than caretaker, it makes me think the next hundred years. Because if I look back, look back 1923 when my grandfather Lala Narayan Das Ji got this story that Angrezo ko Angrezi ki kitab becho. That's how he started. He says at that time in 23. Perhaps there weren't many readers of English books. You only focus on text, original language. Education was more in a local language and a local culture. So he said that I shall open a bookshop in English, and he called it the English Book Depot. Now, hundred years down the line, where English Book Depot has, and we almost have the fourth generation walking in, and my mother has had the fort for fifty years. So out of the 150 have been my mother's contribution and 30 have been our relay together. So what concerns me now, or what is my deep thought, because I think reading is very critical for anyone to think first. And only when you think, you can become a better human force. So how do we build the story of keeping the art of reading at the core and ensuring that the education process, which is the NEP today, does justice to reading. If you look at the NEP today, it's time for the bookshop to think the way NEP has evolved. And NEP says very simply, I don't want to complicate it as to put a document. It says that the child must experience the joy of learning, in a sense. The teachers must get their due regard. And we must learn beyond the so-called syllabus. I'm not calling it curriculum. Yes, yes. Because curriculum is the way you bring about the learning ecosystem. So you look at the bookshop, what the bookshop does. The bookshop inherently now what, what it focuses on. Hundred years went by, we focused on books, 75 of those, those hundred years. Then we realized that the world is evolving, this boom of consumer spending, retail space, so we added a cafe to it. So 21 years back, we added a cafe in the bookshop. That's when coffee came in. So it became books and coffee. From that bookshop which was created to sell just English books, it became a rendezvous. Yes. So once it became a rendezvous and once we thought that the vision of the gentleman who in 23 said that Angrezio ko Angrezi padao and English is India's core strength today 100 years down the line mm. in the world. We are able to talk in multiple languages, we are able to understand and translate and that's why if you see India booms with services sector today, we are able to connect the world globally with our language and multilingual skills. So at the bookshop, the important thing we are trying to do is one, add a lot of Hindi literature. Yes. So that's the first change. Second, we have created a learning space above the bookshop. That's really so nice. we've put up a studio and the studio says that this is my good school. We are calling the studio my good school. And from the bookshop, we are feeding it with books, technology to manage the studio. And the people who have been with us for 30, 40 years, they feel very strongly about the profession. So they feel that we will be here so that people will be here in peace, like we are sitting here, sit, read, write and think. And which automatically brings us to the next thought. Books, coffee and more. So that's why more has been added and not a merchandise. So that's the story. That's amazing to hear. And what's so wonderful about these physical community centers is that after the pandemic, their magic and their importance is more clear than ever. And you know, could you describe a bit about you know now that it's 2023, things seem to have opened up a bit more. Uh, how does it feel, you know, looking into the future, uh, having gone through such a you know tumultuous time? Yeah, you know, last three years, I think we're good. Oh, okay. 
I know people may think that this guy is a narcissist or a sadist. I mean, we lost so many valuable human lives and I'm saying they were good years. Well, lives are lost and lives have to go. That's the eternal law of moksha karma. You can't question that. Leave that aside. It gave us time to think. It gave us time to breathe. It gave us time to think what life is all about. And bottom line is we all realize that the inner joy is what we are working for. So if you were home in these difficult times, your inner joy happened in the garden, your inner joy happened playing with your children, your inner joy happened with cooking, your inner joy suddenly told you that's to work from home. Yeah. And your inner joy told you that you need a work-life balance. Mm. So that's why I think that this is a good time where we are not just focusing on work, but we are looking at a balance in life. Now, balance will be with the environment, with the community, with the family, and perhaps we will not think of the world with such hatred and distress after this time. Yes, that's a very beautiful sentiment. Thank you for you know, speaking on that. And one more thing that I'd love to hear from you is that you know, you've talked about how you've had these customers for, you know, 40, 50 years. And then all, I would say that at that point, are they really customers or are they almost like, you know, family for this institution? And could you share us a few stories or maybe even just one about, you know, uh, like the kind of connection that you have with your community? Yeah, I could write my next book on that. <laughs> I've, oh, yeah. I've written four books. So in this, being in a bookshop made me an author, being in a bookshop made me a school entrepreneur made me what they call now a school improvement coach. So what, what is common between all this is about 30 years back I had a chance to work in a school, volunteer because my everything has been volunteering. My livelihood is the book business but whatever beyond that has been an extensive area of volunteering and that's why our foundation today is called Learning Forward India Foundation. India yeah. should be learning forward. So when I look at back that way, I just two days back, I had someone who says, my grandfather, who is now 93, and another one whose grandfather is 103, is in Hyderabad, who I'm seeing him today. Oh, I'm nice. seeing him this evening. I'm meeting this 103-year-old yeah. gentleman. Remembers the bookstore. Wow. So that's the first thing. And second thing, because Dehradun is a town for education and schools, a lot of people come there again and again for generations to come. So they come here and they look for a social space. And this bookshop has about 20, 30 seating spaces, little corners and nooks. The cafe has about 50 seats. So in the 3000 square feet, there is social space or community space as you beautifully said it, wherein people come there not for buying a book, but for the experience. And what is the experience? My mother who sat there 50 years will tell them Dadi Maa Ke The boys who find the books for you will tell them Aap ye kitab le gai thi na Ye aap ki mummi bhi aai thi na Wo bhi aisi kitab padti thi oh, That's amazing So you know that is the kind of connect we have Recently I had Manpreet Singh Badal mm -hmm. come to me Manpreet has worked in a Kali Dal Has that's worked in Congress and I think back to Congress Sorry if you <laughs> want to discuss politics he got his son along and uh, Manpreet has been there as a student buying books. His son has been there as a student buying books. And Manpreet's dad also visited the bookshop. So I'm just giving you a typical real life uh, course, yeah. incident. And like this, if I go back, uh, perhaps you will find many, many stories. But most stories say one thing, even today on her mother's not too well, ideally she should have been here, but she can't travel now. So people ask us, where is she every day? Mm -hmm. And that I think is a phenomenal power of a relationship. And bookshop is more trust and relationship. It's more an experience. It's not a place to sell a product. So when you ask me this, I'm happy to share that this relationships which have evolved over generations are our values for life. And towards that, what is very heartening to see is this gentleman, Lala Narayan Das Ji, who built the legacy, he had nine children. All his nine children were told, se bhaar jao, chawni, chawni is a cantonment, dhundo, ek angrezi kitabo ki stall lagao, kyunke angrezi kitabe kharitte hain. Aur aapko agar 
कोई सप्लायर का एड्रेस चाहिए कोई भी चीज़ चाहिए मेरे से ले जाओ मेरे से सीख जाओ और आगे चलो सो दो नाइन siblings of one family got married into other families encouraging them also to open bookshops so this business of opening bookshops and keeping with customers goes way beyond only thing we did not do was franchise <laughs> second we did not scale up but we insisted on offering a relationship and a love for reading in books so raskin bond says that there are times when i walk into the bookshop and they just gifted me a book they never asked me money for it this i'm talking about raskin bond of 30 years back 35 years back raskin bond wrote two books which we published as a bookshop so that's the relationship so from authors to celebrities to everyone for us everyone is special of course yes. thank you so much for sharing these stories and our best wishes to your mother thank and uh you know here like you said he is looking forward to the next 100 years of the english book absolutely and next 100 years very simple we want to create the social space with more vibrancy with more life a place where when you come it gives you a feeling of self belief and you value your life because that is very important so if you feel that the power of reading writing or speaking is what gives you your identity mm-hmm. that's what gives you the reason to exist because bottom line is we are here to read write and speak the three human skills we're not here to do physics maths chemistry but we have to read write and speak if you feel read write and speak makes a better life for you i think that's where we need to focus for the next 100 years because you know printed books may go digital books may go but we will still continue with stories of generations with actually a connection of people who love the storytelling art who love the story listening art and in this whole story of reading writing speak, speaking it exists because we are listeners so that's exactly what learning forward is all about listening speaking reading and writing and that's the social space a bookshop is unlike a library where you are told to shut up in a bookshop you are never told to shut up that's the difference that's exactly the spirit of the indian reading olympia and congratulations once again on winning Thank you so much. Thank, Thank you, you so for much the opportunity to speak to you all. Thank you for joining us. Sir.